Hey y'all, Irix guy here, and I'm going to do my best to uh, to film this without stepping into the frame. But this right here is the back of my 27-inch Haswell iMac. Uh, that's the iMac that was released October 2013, and I purchased that iMac with two 8-gig sticks for a total of 16 gigs of memory from Apple, and that left uh, two slots open so that I can add more memory and I'm going to go ahead and max it out. I've got two 8 gig sticks here. I'm going to bring this Haswell iMac up to maximum memory which is 32 gigs. And the reason I did that instead of purchasing 32 gig from Apple or purchasing 8 gig from Apple is because if you do 8 they're not going to give you two uh, they're not going to give you one 8 gig stick. It's going to be two fours. So if you purchase the 8 gig configuration from Apple if you ever decide to go to uh, to 32 gigs in the future, you're going to have to discard those two 4 gig sticks and then purchase four 8 gig sticks. So it was advantageous for me to go ahead and spend a little extra and get the 16 gigs from Apple so that I have two 8s in there currently. And now I'm going to add two more 8s <clears throat> to bring it up to a total of 32 gigs. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're in a... Uh, in an area free of any sort of glasses like I got a glass of water over here you don't want that anything that could spill uh, the next thing you're gonna want to do and I'm, I'm looking on the camera here to make sure you can see you're gonna unplug your power cable that's this piece right here and with the power cable unplugged when you look above the plug you'll see a little button and that's going to release this memory door. So push the uh, push the button, and it's it's not my finger's too big, so I'm going to use the tip of just a standard ink pen. And there it comes. You can see that door just opened up, like the door to a spaceship or something. And that door is going to lift out. What I would recommend doing is keeping it in the same orientation and placing it on your desk. So you know it's going to go back the same way. Now there's two tabs in here. And I hope you can see these in the video. Two white tabs that got little arrows. You're going to gently push out. So the left side here you push that way. And the other side you push that way. And actually it's got a little arrow pointing that way so you know which way to push. Once you push them out, you can gently pull down. And in my case, I noticed there's two, uh, two memory modules in there currently. So what I'm going to do in the two other slots that are not occupied, I'm going to pull my memory out. First thing you want to do is tap your desk. Make sure you discharge any potential static electricity that may be inside you. Because that can kill memory. And it can kill other electronics as well. When you pull your first dim out, a dim being a stick of memory, and be gentle removing this from the packaging, you're going to notice there's a groove. See? And it's not perfectly in the middle. So there's only one direction that this will fit in your iMac. You can see that groove right there? There's only one direction it'll fit, so you need to look in your iMac at those holes and on mine the way that it's currently angled it appears that the shorter piece which is the top part here the shorter section is going to go towards the right And again, just gently put it in there. Once you get it in the slot, you'll notice that it's in. And gently, don't never force. Gently depress each side and you'll feel it stick in. Not a, not a loud snap or pop or anything, but you'll feel it you know, sticking in that slot.
And once you're confident that it's seated, go ahead and do your other module. And it just so happened the way Apple had it configured out of the factory, <clears throat> it had a memory module in the bottommost slot, and then it skipped one, and then it had one in the next to the top slot. So I'm putting my modules in those other slots. So the very top and the next to the bottom. There's some people that like to put the Mac down on its face, but I prefer to do it standing up. And there's a reason why. Because even with proper care and putting, out, putting down a scratch resistant pad or something, having that beautiful LED backlit IPS display on its face just frightens me. Because if you're like me, you don't like fingerprints and you don't like uh, any sort of abuse to your computer products. And what I'm doing now, I'm just going through and just gently pushing each end of this memory module to make sure that that one end's not popped out more than the other. I'm just, you know, re-verifying that gently with my fingers, not forcing anything. The final step will be to push these tabs, these tabs that you pushed out on and pushed back in, just to kind of push down on them gently. And then once they go in, they'll kind of latch into the sides of the uh, of the thing there so you know and again just visually inspect and make sure that nothing fell out when you were trying to stick it in put your uh, door back on again I kept it in the in a certain orientation on my desk so I could remember where it went I want to get fingerprints on my monitor. So with that door, you'll probably just find yourself kind of moving your fingers around the corners. <clears throat> but once the door is back in, when you feel it, it'll be smooth all around the edges because it's perfectly flush. The next step will be to plug your power cable back in. And then in my case, gently turn this back around because I've I kept my cables attached. Probably not the smartest thing, but I'm not the smartest dude, you know. Again, being careful with this gorgeous display. And then because I like everything perfectly organized, I'm going to zoom this out so you can see what's going on. I reposition everything here, make sure everything is perfect. All my cables are hidden because I don't like clutter. I know some people that are messy and I'm not a messy person. And my drives are perfectly symmetrical. Those are my Vantec HX4s if you watch my other videos. Get this memory packaging out of here. Now what we're going to do is this is going to be the true test. We're going to power this puppy on. And we're going to make sure that it registers 32 gigs of memory. Remember, it was 16 gigs before. So just push your power button on your iMac, turn it on. That's encouraging.
And again, this is the 2013 Haswell iMac. It's the one that was released uh, October 2013. There we go. Well, my camera skills aren't that great, are they? But what matters is that this puppy says 32 gigs. 32 GB! 32 GB of 1600 megahertz DDR3. So, again, if you want to know the memory that I used, you can check the video description. Zoom out here. It was this crucial memory uh, that I got affordably from Newegg. So, you know, just a way to, if you're thinking about getting that new Mac and you're like, well, gosh, should I just pay extra for Apple to, uh, to go ahead and make it 32? Might be in your best interest to do it yourself because that's all that it takes, start to finish to upgrade the memory in your you know, 2013 October released iMac, the Haswell iMac. Uh, thanks for watching, share this video with others, and most importantly, y'all have a good day.